If your inner child can't even feel safe with you, then it has absolutely no safety in the world. It has been a very challenging year. Last summer was probably one of my ultimate lowest uh, with suicidal depression. And also finding out at that same time that my husband's cousin completed suicide and in that same month, my mother had dementia. So the truth is my mother has uh, dementia and she also has vascular dementia. So two people typically get dementia in one side of their brain. My mother has it in both sides simultaneously. The way it normally works is that it starts in the amygdala. The amygdala is a major processing center for emotions. It also links your emotions to many other brain abilities, especially memories, learning, and your senses. When it doesn't work as it should, it can cause or contribute to disruptive feelings and symptoms. And it moves up through one side of the brain and then the other. But in the case of my mom, because it's dementia and vascular dementia, it's affecting both sides of her brain, which means that she is diminishing quite rapidly. It also means that we had to move my mother into a home, a long-term care. Because the other one I'll put over by the window. Yeah. I'm just wondering, do you, is, would you rather we have a son? This one probably. Okay, then I'll put this one. She's actually in a senior center, but it, they have really good staff. And my sister Jo actually works there. In fact, she and my oldest brother were responsible for moving her into this home. And they have people that come in, and she can be there until she needs hospice and then palliative care. Hello. How are you? What? How are you? Surviving. You look nice. I love that turtleneck. In the meantime, uh, in order to do that, we had to sell her house. Okay, this just got real. <sighs> Which means my siblings and I all had to get together and clean out her house and as you know, with most families, uh, that can be a very contentious time at best. No, no, of course not. Oh my God, nobody is handling anything 100%, but you know, it is what it is. <sighs> it is what it is. But with my family, it's triply worse because there's so many mental health issues in our family. Obviously, Alzheimer's people and people with dementia also in the process of what goes on with their brain also suffer from mental health and then the family just with the, the parent or whoever it is that's that is experiencing dementia and or Alzheimer's also goes through their own mental health crisis. You got a cold mom? No. It, that's just your eye drop medication make your nose runny? No. Oh. You just got a runny nose? We had a moment. Oh, we had a moment? Oh, did you talk to Janice? Yeah. Oh, it's good to see her, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want to tell me why you're crying? Because I miss you guys. Oh, I love you and I miss you too, Mom. I miss you a lot. And it's getting to the point where music and touch are becoming fundamentally important. Oh, my kids. Oh, but I do without you. Mm -hmm. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. Please don't take me. We got it all with the last one.
Uh, so needless to say, it has been one heck of a year. And I'm sure that you've all noticed my content is kind of all over the place. Mostly I'm striving to be somewhat entertaining. <laughs> I'm at least allowing myself to be entertained by myself. Took a blow, turned a cheek. Those lessons come me deep. I've never been the same. Pin it bright or monotone. Deep splashes of black in pain the contrast grows. I just want to say thank you very much for all of you that have been with me over the last seven and a half, eight years since I've had this, since I started this channel. And also for all of you who have recently joined and for anyone, honestly, who's ever been a part of this channel, uh, thank you. Including the ones that were kind of like a Sid Vicious, they were angry, bitter, I get it, I get it. I get all that self-righteousness and, and anger and you know other people are idiots and like you're the only one that gets it and you know. Unfortunately, what I've discovered is that does not contribute to optimal mental health of other people. And yet, I personally chose to use it to identify triggers within myself so that I could overcome them. So for that reason, anyone who has ever left a scathing, snide, rude, disrespectful, derogatory, debasing comment, thank you. I thank you for all the triggers because you have actually helped me to improve in my mental health by starting with, well, that's just an interesting point of view that you have that point of view. It's your point of view. Why the heck am I going to get wrapped up in your stories? I'm already wrapped up in my own little world, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> ah, I'm so mean sometimes. I'm sorry. But you bring it out in me. But at least I can do it in a way that's more humorous as opposed to, you know, like, where's the sword? Off with your head and I'll ask you questions later. Because that's been my habitual childhood to now pattern. So definitely in a healthier place. Can I be healthier? Of course I can. Can I be more mature? I don't know what you think maturity is. But for me, maturity is recognizing all the triggers in your life that bring out the wounded inner child, the one that was never protected, never understood the world around them because their brain is not developed to understand all that. They don't have the life experiences. So part of becoming an adult is recognizing what triggers are bringing that out from within you. And then because you've had so many years of experience being an adult, finding something in the arsenal of your adulthood to then soothe and calm and make feel safe your inner child so that it can feel safe with you. If your inner child can't even feel safe with you, then it has absolutely no safety in the world. And that, unfortunately for me, for the past 57 years has been my entire life's existence. So never trusting anything or anyone fully, only ever partially. And with the events of what's happening with my mother, because that's an ongoing, uh, my journey to adulthood is identifying the triggers and making my inner child feel safe uh, because I, as a mature, responsible adult who has lived all these years and had all this experience, I'm now able to say, it's okay, it's okay. I know, I hear you. Insert clip of me having a t complete meltdown. And I pressed one saying that I authorized these 
purchase this and I want to fix that. I did not. I'm in a panic mode right now, sorry. See, I'm so, I'm so frantic, I even grabbed the wrong card. Wow, I gotta calm down. <laughs> <sighs> Holy fuck, breathe, Judy, breathe, breathe, breathe. No, no, I, I, Validia, thank you. Uh, you. You're very good at what you do, you calm me down. I was obviously in crisis. And you were excellent at your job and you resolved it, so thank you. If they don't give you a raise, I at least wanna give you credit, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <sighs> but we have to get through this. We can't let this rule our world. And I'm sorry I have never made you feel safe. I'm aware that that's what you need. I have to give that to you. I can't get it from my mother. I learned that in my last visit with her, which was a beautiful visit, by the way. Uh, how would I describe virtue? That's a really good question. Um, it's having a moral compass of self-respect, self-worth, self-value, as well as the value, worth, and respect of others. And living in a way that honors both of those differences. Very good explanation, I think. But what I learned from that is that I can't get my safety from my mother. And I think in your life you tried to live up to. I've done a messy job sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but you tried to live up to your ideals. Yes. Not as the inner child that I am, and as a woman, I don't really need it. You should give yourself a pat on the back. For yeah, you're probably right. I've told you to do that today, so okay. I'll do that. <laughs> Thank you. But the inner child within me is never going to get that from my mom, and my mom can never give that to her. So it's time for me to really heal my inner child. By letting a single moment define the rest of who you become and and why you are, it's kind of like you become a prisoner to that moment. Uh -huh. And you forget to see the rest of who you are as you struggle through that, trying to keep that as the reality when it's not, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. For anyone who has ever watched any of my videos, uh, probably don't say it enough, but thank you. You know, it's it's obviously, I'm not getting financial help that I need by having this channel because it just doesn't earn me what can support my lifestyle. It barely pays my internet bill. However, where it has truly supported me, where all of you have supported me, is in my mental and emotional healing. Helping me to feel safe with you. And for that, I deeply and sincerely thank you.